Hi there, I'm Bria McCauley, a PhD candidate from Simon Fraser University in Canada, and I'm an HREF fangirl. No, seriously, I love HREF. I was first introduced to it in my undergraduate honors thesis. I'd always been interested in human cultural variability, but felt a little daunted by cross-cultural research. How do you identify 50 or 100 different cultures and then locate relevant sources that talk about the topic you're interested in? Well, you can start with HREF. And so that's what I did and have been doing for the rest of my academic career. Every single one of my projects starts with HREF. For instance, I was interested in investigating finger amputation customs, but I wasn't sure if this project would be feasible because I assumed that this would be a rare cultural phenomenon. So I turned to HREF and actually found that there was a surprising amount of information about cultures amputating their fingers. So for one, this proved that the project was possible, but also I was able to use the data from HREF as a jumping off point to find more documents that talk about this obscure cultural custom. And while this project and all the others start with HREF, some end with HREF too, where all of the data that I collect is specifically from HREF. I was trained as an archeologist in my undergraduate, so I'm always interested in how we can apply cross-cultural research to archeological questions. And the question here was, how do hunter-gatherers use fire in their camps? so that we can use that information to help interpret fire residues in the archeological record. But surprisingly, a cross-cultural survey of this hadn't been done. So using HREF, I investigated 93 hunter-gatherer societies and recorded how they make and use fire in their camps and created a database that can be used by archeologists when interpreting fire remains. And my cross-cultural research has really been enhanced by specific training that I've received from HREF. They had three summer institutes on cross-cultural anthropological research funded by the National Science Foundation. And I was a part of the very first cohort. We had two weeks of intensive study about cross-cultural methods, ethics, statistics, R coding, cultural phylogenetics, you name it. And so much of what I was taught in this institute, I now use daily in my own research. And this institute wasn't just beneficial for everything that I learned, but also was an amazing opportunity to meet fellow researchers that were interested in the types of things that I'm interested in. And I've kept in touch with a number of them. And these types of initiatives and outreach, I think really shows the dedication that HREF has to cross-cultural research. And that specifically, they're endeavoring to train new scholars in this field. And so because of my research and this training, I've now become the go-to HREF person in my network in my department. I've been asked to give guest lectures on how to use HREF and to help with planning of people's projects that are gonna use HREF. So I wanna go through just two, I could talk about way more, but just two uh, features that blow people's minds about HREF. The first are the culture and tradition study summaries that are present on HREF world cultures and HREF archeology. span And students particularly love these. They give you a broad overview of the specific culture or archeological tradition and are often written by experts that you can find other sources of in HREF. And so frequently I have students saying things like, why didn't I hear about this before? Why am I just learning about this now? This is so helpful. This is going to be so beneficial for my papers and my research. The other feature I'm gonna talk about are the advanced search functions. And again, there are so many I could highlight, but I'll talk about the first one that people generally encounter. When you go to search up a culture, let's say you wanna search up the Awe Koma culture, you type it in and a pop-up will come up that says Yu Zuklang, which is an ethnonym or alternative name for this culture. And that's so helpful. As soon as people see that, they, wow, HREF can do that? Yeah, it can, and so much more. So I just wanna finally end off by saying, I get so much value out of HREF. Every single time I go onto the site, I learned something new about a culture. 
And so I hope that you'll get the same amount of value that I get out of it. And congratulations on 75 years, HREF. Thank you very much.